All right, all right, all right. We are live. Let's see who's in the house. I see Pixie Lee is in the house. What's going on, Pixie Lee? So just so you guys know, if you do want to be seen, your name and your picture to be seen on the screen, um, make sure you go to StreamYard.com backslash Facebook and actually give them permission. So, you know, you're going to click on that link and then what's going to happen is going to um, go through the little motions and then it'll say, you know, you, we got access. You know what I'm saying? Once you do that, then you'll see you when I put you up, you'll be able to see what your name and everything that you're saying. Um, <laughs> I know that's right, Pixie. I need to be eating too. Um, but yeah, so then that way, when I put you up, you'll see your name, your picture and what you said. If you don't put it up, then what's going to happen is it's just going to say Facebook user. And the only way I can actually see your name is that I actually have to look at the screen. Um, and then that way, if it, so this is what I'm talking about. See how it's saying, hey, good people. So it's like, hey, uh, don't know who it is. Um, but if I actually look at it on my phone and pull it up, then I might be able to see who it is um, that said that. But inside of the actual broadcast room, I cannot see your name and, you know, I can see what you said, but I just can't see your name. It's just going to say Facebook user. OK, so let's get together. So tonight we got Miss Angela Patrick Wynn. OK, so again, another firehouse person. You know what I'm saying? So Pixie said, hey, Eddie. So I took that as Eddie was the person that said what he said. You know what I'm saying? So Miss Angela Patrick Wynn is going to tell us about how to write your life story. So Miss um, Miss Angela is like the bomb.com. Okay. So I'm just saying, I love, love, love her. So, you know, I'm gonna give you a little, you know, I love telling you about how I know people or whatever. So I actually met Miss Angela for the first time when we went to Houston in February. Okay. So we had the summit in Houston in February, you know, back for Rono got started and everything. And we has shared a meal when i tell you miss angela is the bomb she is so funny she is the truth okay she gonna tell you the truth she gonna always be truthful and however it come out honey that's how it come out okay which you know i love that because they're my type of people because that's what i do you know what i'm saying so it is what it is but when i tell you this lady is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut. She the shit. Okay. So what I need y'all to do is to get your pencil, paper, pen, whatever, and get your notes ready. Okay. Because when I say this is it for this week and she is all of that and a bag of chips and I'm talking about Lay's. So you know how I am about my Lay's. She a, she a bag of Lay's potato chips. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to bring Miss Angela up. Okay. So we ain't got time to be playing around with y'all because it's Friday and we in the house. Okay. Hey, definitely Friday. Definitely, definitely. Hey, how are you? Sweetie Pie? Good. I am good. This is my girl. I don't care what y'all say. You know, I know some of y'all know her too, but this my girl. Okay. Right. Miss Angela is my girl. So that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Tell so Miss, Miss Angela, I want you to tell everybody who you are and what you do. All righty. Well, I'm gonna just tell you just like a little snippet, and then the rest will be in a uh form of a little presentation. It's gonna be short because I know it's Friday. I know what y'all like to do on Friday. So just real quickly in meeting Candy, I just would say just the entire urban CEO family, black CEO showed up at a summit and met my family. That's how I fall in love with people. And I had just decided to, I was going to just go ahead and continue being an author, but I was so inspired. I felt I needed to serve and be a coach because I am an author who could show other people how to do the same thing. And so here we are. Miss Candy, 
Here we yeah. are. And um, just thank you for the opportunity to kind of show people what I do and then maybe explain some things about story writing to everyone. So what I'm going to do now is prepare to share my screen. Would that be, would now be a good time? Do you have any other questions? Okay, I'm going to do the share screen. Okay. So make sure you pull it up because right now it's not sharing. Okay. So we got Chanel in the house all the way from New York City. You know how they be saying about the, what is it, um, pesco sauce or whatever. Say New York City. Okay, so we're going to share Miss Angela's screen and she finna get it popping, okay? I'm about to get into it. Can you see it? And can you hear me? I am going to assume that you can. And I am just going to say, let's get ready and let's rock and let's roll. Write your story before you're out of time. This is about leaving a legacy item for your family and creating multiple streams of income. So we, are, we already know I'm Angela Patrick Wynn. I'm a national best-selling author and I'm traditional and self-published. I have a coaching company called Angel Write and it's where I make your writing dreams a reality. I'll make sure you are remembered by writing a story about your life. And why would you want to do that? Are you a matriarch who wants to make memories and money by writing a memoir? Yes, 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 you are. I'm looking to work with 10 people to join my Become Unforgettable movement. And that's because that's what we are. We're wise women. We are unforgettable. We're treasured. We're respected. And we want to be remembered. So I'm looking to work with 10 people to keep this movement energized tonight. Really quickly, I'm going to tell you why you should share your story, how to get started on your book, and what to do when your book is done. Why you should share your story. Because you've got generations of folks that would love to pick up a book and read about you. As you can see, I've got a snapshot of my grandchildren on the left and just five years later, look at them. Look at how much time has gone by. This is why we have to write our story before we're out of time. One day you will wake up and there won't be any more time to do the things you've always wanted to do. Do it now. And that's from Paulo Ciola. Plus, there's no one quite like you. And you can write a story at any time in your life. I meet people that say, I'm going to do that in another 15, 20 years. No, no, we're doing it right now because you can write about any part of your life. These three beautiful women, Taraji P. Henson, the actress, of course, former first lady Michelle Obama, and um, singer Patti LaBelle, they've all written memoirs. They might write one, two, or three more because what they did is share some memories. And this nice blue, beautiful circle is you. Your story is worth telling. What part of your life do you want to write about? Is it when you were a teenager? Is it when you were a young adult? Is it now? Stories are the creative conversion of life itself into a more powerful, clearer, more meaningful experience. They are the currency of human contact. And I put this slide in here so that if you're not sure what story you want to write, all you got to do is think about what you talk about. What do they always say about you at the family reunion? What is the story that must be told that now you need to write. You can write fiction. Fiction is where you decide everything and it's not the truth, it can be, but it's not the truth. It's not as, as if someone can get a fact and check. What happens is these are the kind of books we like to read when we are chilling. We're done with the grind and we're about to relax. What's the kind of fiction that you pick up that just takes you away? You can write fiction. You can write fiction based on real life, which is what Terry McMillan does. 
And so another reason I work with matriarchs is because I am in my lane. I know that I can say how Stella got her groove back and the people that I am working with will know that movie and they'll know Terry McMillan. They gonna know like Teddy Pendergrass, Stephanie Mills, Barry White. Yeah, that, those are the kind of old school things that we'll be talking about. But Terry McMillan writes stories about herself, but as a character. She does it so well that her books turn into movies where Angela Bassett played her in a book that was turned into a movie. You can also do a memory and fiction or memoir and fiction. So we've got Sunny Houston from The View. She's written a novel, fiction, and it's about three cousins who are about 12 years old who spend every summer with the grandmother. So she's going to be writing this as a younger self, just having fun. I'm sure there'll be some truths in it, but she's writing fiction. She's also going to do a memoir. Um, I am these truths because we know that she does have a very successful legal um, background. So you can do either of those. All right, how to get started on your story. I know you guys are still with me because everybody wants to write a story. Everybody. You pick the kind that you want to write. Usually it's something that you enjoy reading and you've had a thought, I could do this too. So is it a mystery or romance? Is it science fiction? Is it Christian? Is it urban? It's whatever you want. You decide when it's going to happen. Will it be set back in history? Will it be right now? Will it be in the future like science fiction? And then characters are so much fun. And the way I've set this up is that you are the main character because I think that will help you put your story together. So when it comes to your characters, I would say start with a way to identify your character with a tag. Is the character bossy, humorous, sarcastic? Um, just something that would identify the character if we just saw a snapshot, okay? That's how you can get started with how you would make yourself as a character in the story. And then the second thing that I want you to know that's really, really important is the promise that you give to, to the reader about the story. If you're promising them that you're going to write romance in the middle of the book, you're not going to turn it into science fiction. Okay. So you're promising something and that promise is going to deal with a character, you, a situation that you probably don't like, <laughs> an objective, what you want to do in opposition, why you can't do it and a disaster. What happens when it all goes wrong? That's why we like to pick up books and read them. And my favorite time to buy a book is at the airport, no matter what. I know they're overpriced. I don't know. But there's nothing like getting on a plane with a fresh novel, a fresh book. So at the end of this presentation, I'll tell you how you can get your free ebook. And that ebook gives you a little more idea about the story promise. It also has a checklist and an example that you can follow so that you can firm up your story promise. Well, we know what we can do when the book is done. We have a book we can share with our family. We can pre-sell it for family reunions. We can make merchandise. I mean, the list is on and on. The most important thing is that we are writing this story now before we run out of time. Because before we can talk about how we're going to sell it and all the things we'll do with it, we want to make sure we're going to write this book before we're out of time. I offer an online writing platinum package, and there are scholarships available for six people. This is what my course contains. It's the five S's to story writing success, where you learn, grow, and do. So we've already talked about learning how to start with a sustainable story promise and a sensational character. We're going to make sure that we set you up to make multiple streams of income. 
I do want to find folks that want to shine like a coach. I would love for generations or folks in your family to decide to write an anthology or just good books on the shelves. If you've done it, certainly a cousin or sister would like to do the same. I'd like your family to know about self-publishing and speaker marketing and networking etiquette geared towards your audience. So some questions you may be asking, how long will it take to write my story? How do I access the course? What if I'm not good at writing? My plan for you to formulate your story and get you started on your chapter basics is going to be based on how much you know about what you want to write. And I am going to probably start you out with a 90 day plan. But I do want your story writing to be enjoyable. You know, wow, it, it, it is just so much fun to spend your time crafting something that you know your family will love to read, just like you love to read when you read novels. How do I access the course? Of course, I am going to have a way for you to access it. We'll start with a private Facebook group where we are meeting each other and learning how to do an online critique of information that we share. And what if I'm not good at writing? Well, you'll get good at writing because what I'm looking for are matriarchs that have the heart for telling a story. So if you're ready to get started, you can send me an email at A-N-G-E-L-W-R-I-T-E, Angel Wright, L-L-C, at gmail.com for a 15-minute discovery session because I am looking to work with six people, but I got to know that they are ready to do it right now. You've got the usual two options that we always have in life, the usual fork in the road. Are you going to wait and wait and wait and look at that old batter clock? I, we cannot wait. We cannot wait. We must do it right now. Or are you going to write your story before you're out of time? I was so serious about this that I actually have a book and that is the name of it. And it is a compliment to this presentation. Goes into a little more detail. Of course, it's not the actual online package, but it gives you a chance to read over some of the things that we've talked about and to have yourself ready so that when we talk, you are fully qualified. Are you guys ready to become unforgettable? Everybody has a story to tell. Might as well make it a blockbuster. Make sure to send me an email at www.angelwrightllc at gmail.com. All right, you just knocked that right on out the box, didn't you? <laughs> so let's, let's talk a little bit more about, you know, this, you know, national best-selling author. Tell people about all of the books that you have written. So here's the deal, guys. When you when you want to do something, I got into writing a book because I read one that was so terrible. I was like, really? Mm. And yet they are on the shelf. Okay. You know, how, you know how that happens. And so I did not know anything about writing a novel. I was a writer, but I was more like a professor. I taught composition. And so I could wordsmith, but I didn't know how to write a novel. So I met people. I went to workshops, just like I'm doing now to be an entrepreneur. And I wrote this book and guys, I am telling you within, I'm going to say maybe nine months, I was in a grocery store and picked up the Essence magazine and I would always look at their books. And of course, I'm a writer, but I'm not ever thinking my book would be in there. How? My name was on the list for the bestseller. I was like number four and they only listed 10 books. It was back. Uh, Haley Berry was on the cover. I had to ask the cashier. I was like, do you, you know, do you see this? Is this real? Like it was like an out of body experience. And um, 
That's why I always tell people, you can do it. You can do it. Put it out there. And that was with no help from uh, the publisher. You know, they had published the book. That was literally word of mouth. People caught onto that book and it, it was, it was phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look, I would have it, it in the store. It, 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 it in the store. Yeah. I know that's right. It, it was, yeah. Yes. Right. And so I probably wrote off and on throughout the years. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I was a mom, wife, a full-time job, taught at the university. And so uh, I would write from people that love to read the book. So every so often I would write a book and then I would continue teaching for people that wanted to learn how to write a book. So I had always been doing it. I started an LLC just to make sure if I didn't know what I was doing, it wasn't going to mess up my personal taxes. You know, like, let me get some liability over here. And um, I just did that for many, many years until now retirement. And like I said, I was going to just go on and take care of myself and just be an author. But I was like, God is like, you got the gift of words, girl, sir, sir. And so I am fully com committed to yeah, I'm, I'm like Eddie. I would have fainted in the stones too if I had seen that. And shoot, you, I probably would have went to a couple of cashiers and said, did you see right. this? Too? Like, you know, you call your family members and they all go to all the stores and they collect them all up because this was back, look, back in the day. Right. No Instagram or social media. That was in uh, 1999. And then the last novel I wrote was in uh, 2015 because I was getting ready to move to South Carolina and moving to South Carolina was you take one, I can only move with one suitcase. So I had to leave all my stuff. Yep. Back in Michigan, but bam, here we are now. And y'all give me some ideas for some books. I'm telling you, I wanted to some characters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of books are written off of, you know, real life situations. You know what I'm saying? So yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about some things you didn't say, Miss Candy. <laughs> I'm like, that should be in a book. I always warn people, too. Like, if you see that, you're going to know I got that from you. Yeah. Exactly. I have a uh, friend that he does movies, and we, we are always very careful what we say around him because something to end up in the movie. Yeah, It'd yeah. Didn't nobody tell you to put that yeah. in there. That's why and, you make uh, it fiction. So it's like, it wasn't you. you like, but I know enough to know. I know enough to know you were talking about me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had a comedian that actually will say Candice. And it will be like, I did not say that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I so said it's fun. something similar, but then I so say that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's why I love it. I love it. Most so what made you what made you decide to start doing the the workshops and the teaching of other people because a lot of times when people do it successfully on their own they only want to do that so i know you said that you you know god was like you got the gift you know and you just started doing it but what else because sometimes it's, it's something has to push us to you know to really do it well so what happened is a couple things um I was going, I was working at uh, corporate America in the training department. So I was a technical writer and they had a master's degree back then. They pay, if you went to school while you was working, they would pay for your degree. And so I went to the field of instructional technology, changed my life. I, I, for the first time I worked for a manager, it was like, yeah, do your school work for school, do your Work, you know, like use this place for your homework. Do not take on an extra load of nothing. How many people say that? And I learned that this was a skill. I learned how to write a job aid, a training manual, how to write instructions so that people can follow them. And so once again, I was like, wow, that is a skill. And that probably is why, you know, other people just want to write for themselves. And I feel the desire to show people the steps. I told somebody I could collect more acknowledgements than I can writing books. I can hear more people say, Angela, thank you. You know, so, but it is, it's just always been a pleasure. And now look, I am going to make it a business. I just used to do it out of love. Now we're going to up it, give them more because an instructor just instructs. You don't know if you'll see them again. You know, you go to their workshop and if you don't take the right notes and you can't read them when you get home, that was your shot, but a coach is going to be there with you. 
So it's a commitment, but um, it's good for me, Candy. It's good oh, for yeah. me. It's oh, yeah. Me. And we all are blessed to have you doing it because when I say we learn a lot from you all the time, and sometimes yeah. it might just be something funny <laughs> that you said, but we learned a lot from you. And I know me, myself, I actually really do appreciate you. And I want to say that in front of everybody. I appreciate Same you. Here. And here. everything that you do for all of us because when I say you you really don't have to do stuff and a lot of times people don't realize the little bit of stuff that they actually say can help somebody tremendously so thank yeah. you for all that you do so yeah. again I hope you guys took notes because Miss Angela came in here showed out and was like <laughs> but it's Friday it's time to get your drink on. Be thinking about that story. You know, while you're taking that drink, if you sit next to, to a character, exactly. somebody that's putting about eight olives on the thing, you like, oh, okay, I'm going to use that in the book. You know? Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So make sure you guys, we're going to make sure that all of the links to all of her free items, you know, is out there and and pixie said we love you miss angela yeah. yes we do yes and we the do. story promise is the story promise checklist.com or you know my website exactly. which you are look you got that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i got all of that so uh -huh. i'll make sure that all of that is put up yeah. um but we need to make sure that you guys go out there and get those checklists and stuff especially if you really want to write a book because when I tell you she has everything set up for you to just help you carry on. See, see what I'm talking about? Hey, it's the book, it's right in your pocketbook. You could be somewhere and just pull it out and start making your notes. Exactly. I have hooked you up. <laughs> Same thing. It's the, just the name of the book.com. Write your book exactly. out of time and you, I'll send it to you tonight. <laughs> How about that? So, I again, I appreciate you guys for spending some time with me here at the 3M virtual conference. We are going to shut down for the weekend. We will Ooh. be back on Monday. Ooh. And then we're going to have Deborah Franklin. Ooh. Oh my God. I ain't even going to tell you about it. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Because yeah. she is real. Oh my God. She got all kind of stuff. Um, yeah. I'm going to give you a little, go out and look for conversations with Deborah Franklin. That's all I got to say. So all right. no, I'm check, right out, <laughs> check out Deborah Franklin. She will be in the house Monday night, 7 p.m. We love you, Miss Angela. Thank yes. you for coming. Yes. And we will see you guys on Monday. All righty. Bye-bye.